The general consensus is that 40% of the world's population is financially illiterate. And things get even worse when you evaluate each country individually. Now, we don't want to scare anybody, but in developing countries, this percentage skyrockets to almost 80%. And make no mistake, okay, there is a price to pay for ignorance. A report from the National Financial Educators Council shows the lack of financial literacy costs 15% of adults at least $10,000 in 2022. And if you don't want to be one of them, you'd better watch this video. Here are 15 ways to increase your financial IQ. Welcome to Alux. So, number one. First and foremost, you need to understand the finance matrix. Now, this is the foundation of all the arguments we're going to expand on in this video, so make sure you've got a decent understanding of how the banking system and how money work before diving in. Now, we dedicated two videos on these, so if you feel like you don't understand how money ebbs and flows through the economy, we encourage you to watch those videos first and then circle back to this one. Anyway, grasping the complexities of the banking system and the inner workings of money is the basis for increasing your financial IQ. By mastering key concepts such as interest rates, inflation, and credit, you can craft a strategic approach to saving, investing, and managing risk. And this will allow you to optimize your wealth and steer clear of potential hazards. Acquainting yourself with the fundamentals of loans and borrowing equips you to utilize debt judiciously. It'll also make you smarter when it comes to selecting the most advantageous credit products and securing favorable terms during negotiations with lenders. Now, a comprehensive understanding of the banking system and monetary mechanisms not only bolsters your personal financial management prowess, but it also expands your comprehension of overarching economic forces. We're, of course, talking about macroeconomics here. Recognizing the ways in which banks and monetary policies shape the wider economy empowers you to adapt your financial game plan in response to fluctuating economic circumstances. This is important if you want to ensure that your investments maintain diversity and that your financial objectives remain within reach. Remember, billionaires are made during times of economic turmoil. Financially educated people see these moments as opportunities because they know the economy has a life cycle of its own. These are the best times to build generational wealth, and they only come around about once every few decades. This is why investing time and effort in learning about the banking system and money is an invaluable investment in yourself and your financial future. This foundational knowledge equips you with the tools necessary for effective decision-making, astute risk management, and the cultivation of wealth. Number two, master the rule of 72. The rule of 72 is an ingenious yet straightforward formula employed to approximate the number of years needed to double the value of an investment or funds deposited at a consistent annual interest rate. So this convenient tool not only facilitates a deeper comprehension of the formidable power of compounding, but it also enables swift comparisons of the prospective growth trajectories of various investments. So to harness the rule of 72, simply divide 72 by the annual interest rate expressed as a percentage. The resulting figure offers an estimation of the number of years it'll take for your investment to double in value. For instance, with an investment boasting an annual interest rate of 6%, you can expect the value to double in approximately 12 years. Bear in mind, though, the rule of 72 serves as an approximation and may not always provide pinpoint accuracy, particularly for higher interest rates or when taking into account fees, taxes, and other variables that could influence an investment's return. Nonetheless, though, it still functions as an invaluable mental shortcut for swiftly grasping the potential growth of an investment and how compounding interest can expedite wealth accumulation over time. So by mastering the rule of 72, you can acquire a heightened understanding of the influence of interest rates on your investments, make more judicious investment decisions by rapidly contrasting potential growth of diverse investment options. You can cultivate a lucid perspective on the significance of compounding and the time value of money. 
You can employ that rule to establish pragmatic expectations for your investment objectives and your timeframes, and foster a profound appreciation for the necessity of initiating savings and investment plans early in order to fully capitalize on the advantages of compound interest. Number three, decode behavioral finance. Behavioral finance is a fascinating field of study that melds psychology and finance to unravel how human emotions and cognitive biases shape financial decision-making. Its primary objective is to explain why individuals frequently make irrational choices despite having access to all the pertinent information. By demystifying behavioral finance, you can pinpoint and surmount biases that could adversely affect your financial decisions and outcomes. Crucial concepts within behavioral finance encompass overconfidence, the tendency to overrate one's capabilities or the precision of one's beliefs, culminating in excessive risk-taking or subpar investment decisions. Confirmation bias, the predisposition to search for and prioritize information that corroborates preconceived beliefs while dismissing or minimizing conflicting evidence, leading to narrow-mindedness and imprudent financial choices. Loss aversion, the phenomenon whereby individuals experience the sting of losses more acutely than the satisfaction of equivalent gains, resulting in hanging on to failing investments for too long or prematurely offloading profitable ones. Anchoring, a cognitive bias wherein a person relies excessively on their initial piece of information, the anchor when making their decisions. In finance, this can manifest as an investor basing their asset valuation on historical prices rather than intrinsic value. Herd mentality. The tendency to mimic the actions or opinions of others, even when contradicting one's beliefs or information, which can give rise to irrational market trends and bubbles. Mental accounting. The inclination to treat money differently depending on its origin or intended use, engendering inconsistent and illogical financial behavior. Regency bias, the proclivity to assign greater importance to recent events or information when making decisions, potentially resulting in an overreaction to short-term market fluctuations and disregard for long-term trends. So to decode and surmount these behavioral biases, contemplate the following tactics, eh, Luxor? Increase your self-awareness. Periodically reflect on your decision-making processes and pinpoint instances where emotions or biases may have swayed your choice. And we actually know a cool little trick to help you out here. It's called the 72-hour rule. We learned this from Carl Richards' fantastic personal finance book, The One-Page Financial Plan, and the rule is quite simple. For all non-essential purchases, before you make the purchase, wait 72 hours. That's it. And the same goes for investments when you feel that FOMO or fear of missing out kicking in. You will know after some time passes if it's a good idea to buy the thing or not. You should also seek diversive perspectives, consult a range of information sources, and entertain opposing viewpoints to circumvent confirmation bias and make well-informed decisions. Implement disciplined investment strategies. Employ methodical approaches, such as dollar cost averaging, setting stop loss orders, or adhering to a predetermined asset allocation to diminish the influence of emotions on your investment decisions. As well as focusing on the long term. Prioritize your long-term financial objectives and resist the impulsive reactions to short-term market fluctuations. And monitor your progress. Routinely assess your investment portfolio and financial plan to ensure alignment with your goals and to detect any instances where biases may have swayed your decisions. By comprehending behavioral finance and its bearing on your financial decisions, you can cultivate superior habits and make more rational choices. And believe us when we say, these are the only type of choices that you should be making with your money. Number four. 
Implement zero-based budgeting. Zero-based budgeting, or ZBB, is an innovative financial management approach that entails assigning every dollar of your income to particular expenses, savings, or investments, ensuring that no funds remain unallocated. So contrary to conventional budgeting techniques, which emphasize modifying prior budgets, ZBB commences from scratch each time, obliging you to substantiate every expenditure and prioritize your financial objectives. So this method fosters deliberate spending, heightened financial awareness, and an amplified sense of control over your finances. To adopt zero-based budgeting, you can start by enumerating your monthly income sources, which encompasses salary, side hustles, and any passive income streams. Then you're going to want to itemize all of your expenses, categorizing them into fixed costs, for example, rent, utilities, etc. And then variable costs like groceries or entertainment. And lastly, allocate the residual funds into savings, investments, or debt repayment, making sure that every dollar of your income is designed for a specific purpose. Employing a zero-based budget empowers you to pinpoint areas where overspending might be happening, enabling you to redirect those funds toward achieving your financial aspirations. Periodically reviewing and fine-tuning your budget also fosters accountability and ensures that you consistently progress toward financial stability and triumph. Over time, this systematic approach can assist you in forging superior money management habits and nurturing a more conscientious attitude toward your finances. Number 5. Examine Case Studies of Financial Successes and Failures Analyzing case studies of financial triumphs and setbacks can yield priceless insights into the tactics, decision-making methodologies, and external elements that contribute to both favorable and unfavorable outcomes. Scrutinizing real-world instances will teach you to discern patterns, assimilate wisdom from others' experiences, and integrate the lessons into your own financial odyssey. Prosperous case studies such as Warren Buffett's long-term investment strategies or the remarkable growth of technology behemoths like Apple and Amazon can impart a treasure trove of knowledge on value investing, adept business management, and evolving market trends. By dissecting the driving forces behind these successes, you can extract insights into potent investment techniques, the significance of maintaining a long-term outlook, and the transformative power of innovation in generating wealth. Conversely, delving into financial failures like the dramatic collapse of Enron or the 2008 financial crisis, or even the more recent collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank, can impart crucial lessons to the repercussions of unethical conduct, unrestrained risk-taking, and the perils of succumbing to herd mentality. By grasping the errors and misjudgments that precipitated these financial catastrophes, you can cultivate a more prudent and comprehensive approach to your own financial stewardship, ensuring that you are better equipped to steer through potential hazards and obstacles. Number 6. Learn to Read Financial News Critically Cultivating the ability to critically read financial news is crucial for making well-informed decisions and sifting through extraneous noise. Amidst today's rapidly evolving media landscape, discerning valuable insights from sensationalized headlines is of paramount importance. When you hone your critical thinking skills, you can more effectively evaluate the credibility, relevance, and accuracy of financial information. Begin by scrutinizing the news source, considering its credibility and potential biases. Begin by scrutinizing the news source, considering this source's credibility and potential biases. Because look, financial news, like all news, can be swayed by various factors, including the author's or publisher's interests, advertising pressures, or even political affiliations. So stay vigilant for possible conflicts of interest and contemplate cross-referencing multiple sources to obtain a more balanced perspective on the subject matter. 
diversifying your sources will introduce you to alternative viewpoints and enable you to form a more holistic understanding of the topic at hand. Moreover, concentrate on the caliber and depth of the analysis offered in the news. Seek out well-researched, data-driven articles that substantiate their assertions with evidence, rather than depending on anecdotes or opinions. Exercise caution when encountering sensational headlines devised to capture your attention, but which might lack substantive information. By refining your proficiency in critically assessing financial news, you can more accurately discern valuable insights and then sidestep making impetuous decisions predicted on untrustworthy or slanted information. Remember, when in doubt, always follow the money and you will get your answers. Number 7. Challenge Yourself With Financial Experiments Embracing financial experiments as a method to test your financial acumen, expertise, and adaptability proves to be an effective approach. These experiments may encompass establishing short-term objectives, experimenting with novel financial tactics, or delving into uncharted investment prospects. When venturing beyond your comfort zone, you can reap invaluable insights, learn from your experiences, and augment your financial proficiency. Financial experiments can manifest in various forms ranging from adhering to a stringent budget for a month to assess your frugality, to investing in an emerging class to explore its risks and potential rewards. Alternative experiments could entail launching a side hustle to generate supplementary income or experimenting with diverse savings techniques to ascertain the most effective method for you. Through these challenges, you'll cultivate a more profound comprehension of your financial habits and inclinations, empowering you to make more informed decisions in the future. And while embarking on these experiments, it is crucial to adopt a learning mindset, reflect on your triumphs and setbacks, and remain receptive to change. Monitor your progress and chronicle your experiences to pinpoint patterns and lessons that can guide your future financial choices. Number 8. Analyze your favorite brand's financials Examining the financials of your beloved brands can be a captivating endeavor, allowing you to delve into financial concepts and assess the performance of companies that spark your enthusiasm. By scrutinizing the financial statements, annual reports, and earnings of all of these enterprises, you can gain a deeper understanding of their business structures, revenue sources, profitability, and growth potential. And this immersive approach allows you to develop an acumen necessary for making well-informed investment choices while further augmenting your financial IQ. Embark on your analysis by perusing the company's income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. These crucial financial documents offer a glimpse into the company's fiscal well-being and facilitate the evaluation of its performance trajectory. Keep an eye on metrics such as revenue growth, profit margins, debt levels, and liquidity ratios. By juxtaposing these figures with industry benchmarks or competitor data, you can glean insights into the company's relative strengths and weaknesses, as well as its overarching competitive stance. And finally, tune in to earnings calls and sift through annual reports to acquire a more profound comprehension of the company's strategic vision, management's outlook, and potential risks or opportunities. This information provides invaluable context for interpreting financial data, enabling you to cultivate a more holistic perspective on the company's prospects. Analyzing your favorite brand's financials not only bolsters your financial literacy, but also equips you to make more informed choices as both a consumer and an investor. Number 9. Follow Influential Financial Podcasts Watching or listening to financial podcasts is a great method to elevate your financial IQ as they offer invaluable insights and expert perspectives on various facets of personal finance, investing, and wealth management. Here's why. Podcasts serve as a convenient and readily available source of information that you can enjoy while commuting, working out, or during your leisure time. They assist in keeping you abreast of market trends, investment techniques, and personal finance advice while simultaneously inspiring and motivating you to refine your financial habits. 
Premier financial podcasts often showcase interviews with accomplished entrepreneurs, investors, and financial gurus, presenting a rich tapestry of perspectives and pragmatic guidance. By absorbing these discussions, you can get yourself valuable lessons from their experiences, missteps, and tactics, and implement these insights into your own financial journey. Furthermore, these podcasts expertly distill complex financial concepts into more palatable and engaging formats, making it more simple for listeners to comprehend and apply their acquired knowledge in their daily lives. To optimize the benefits of financial podcasts, it is crucial to select those that resonate with your interests and objectives. So seek out podcasts that encompass a broad spectrum of topics such as personal finance, investing, entrepreneurship, or financial independence, and subscribe to a variety of shows to guarantee exposure to a balanced and more diverse range of insights. And if you're looking for a great way to start, you should check out Naval Ravikant's podcasts. He has the healthiest and most logical principles for building and maintaining wealth. Number 10. Read Influential Personal Finance Books Reading influential personal finance books can significantly improve your financial IQ by providing valuable insights, practical advice, and tried and tested strategies from experts in the field. So these books often cover a wide range of topics such as budgeting, saving, investing, debt management, and wealth building. By learning from the experiences and knowledge of accomplished financial authors, you can develop a strong foundation in personal finance and apply their wisdom to your own financial journey. And influential personal finance books, they often feature relatable stories, case studies, and real-life examples that make complex financial concepts a lot more accessible and engaging. They can help you to identify and overcome common financial challenges, develop a growth mindset, and cultivate habits that promote long-term financial success. Reading these books can also provide inspiration and motivation to take control of your finances, set ambitious financial goals, and pursue a path toward financial independence. To get the most out of reading personal finance books, consider taking notes or creating summaries of key takeaways, and then applying those lessons to your own financial situation. Implement the strategies and techniques you learn in a way that best suits your unique financial goals and circumstances. Continuously seek out new books and resources to expand your knowledge, stay up to date with the ever-changing financial landscape, and adapt your financial strategies as you progress through different life stages. And if you're looking for a book recommendation, just browse here around on our channel. We've got plenty of videos where we provide overviews of great finance books. Number 11. Utilize Gamified Learning Apps Gamified learning apps offer an engaging and interactive way to build financial knowledge by incorporating game-like elements and rewards into the educational experience. These apps provide a fun and motivating environment that encourages users to learn financial concepts, test their strategies, and develop essential skills. By utilizing gamified learning apps, you can transform your financial education journey into an enjoyable and stimulating process. Some popular gamified learning apps such as Wealthbase or Investopedia's Stock Simulator focus on stock market investing. They allow users to create virtual portfolios, simulate real-time trading, and compete with friends or other users in a risk-free environment. These platforms enable you to learn about various investment strategies, analyze companies' financial health, and understand market dynamics, all while having fun and earning rewards. And in addition to stock market simulators, there are other gamified apps designed to teach budgeting, saving, and personal finance management. These apps often use engaging visuals, quizzes, and progress tracking to help users develop positive financial habits and achieve their goals. Number 12. Set up a financial vision board and utilize goal-based investing. A financial vision board serves as a vivid representation of your financial ambitions and aspirations, meticulously crafted to inspire and galvanize you to remain steadfast on your financial journey. The process of creating a vision board entails gathering images, quotes, or symbols, epitomizing your envisioned financial future, and organizing them on a tangible or digital board. 
The vision board acts as a perpetual reminder of your financial aspirations, guiding you toward decisions that align with your sought-after outcomes. Goal-based investing is a strategic investment approach centered around aligning your financial objectives with your investment blueprint. Rather than exclusively fixating on optimizing returns, goal-based investing accentuates the attainment of explicit financial milestones, encompassing saving for a house, financing a child's education, or preparing for retirement. When pinpointing and prioritizing these objectives, you can customize your investment strategy to accommodate each goal's distinct time horizon, risk tolerance, and requisite capital. This method empowers you to gauge your process more precisely and fine-tune your plan as circumstances demand. Merging the utilization of a financial vision board with goal-based investing can create a formidable strategy to actualize your financial aspirations. The vision board instills inspiration and motivation, while goal-based investing furnishes a lucid, structured roadmap to reach your objectives. Number 13. Experiment with Dollar Cost Averaging Dollar Cost Averaging, or DCA, is a disciplined investment strategy that involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals regardless of market conditions. This approach helps to reduce the impact of market volatility, mitigates the risk of making poor investment decisions based on short-term fluctuations, and eliminates the need for attempting to time the market. When consistently investing over time, investors benefit from both upswings and downturns, as they can purchase more shares when prices are low and fewer shares when prices are high. Now, one of the key advantages of DCA is it helps investors to overcome the psychological barriers that can hinder successful investing. By automating the investment process and focusing on the long term, investors are less likely to be influenced by emotions such as fear or greed, which can lead to impulsive decisions. This strategy also promotes good financial habits by encouraging regular saving and investing, fostering a mindset of financial discipline and patience. To implement a dollar cost averaging strategy, investors should first determine the fixed amount they want to invest and the frequency of those investments. They should then select an investment vehicle, such as an index fund or an exchange traded fund that aligns with their risk tolerance and their long-term financial goals. Who says you have to go all in? Remember, splitting your investments across time is the best way to invest, period. Number 14. Automate your finances Automating your finances involves setting up systems and tools to manage and streamline various aspects of your financial life, such as savings, investments, and bill payments with minimal manual intervention. Automating these processes will help you to reduce the time and effort spent on managing your money, minimize the risk of human error, and make it easier to stick to your financial goals. To automate your finances, start by setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings or investment accounts at regular intervals, such as monthly or bi-weekly. This pay-yourself-first approach ensures that you consistently prioritize saving and investing, helping you to build wealth over time. Additionally, consider automating your bill payments by scheduling reoccurring payments through your bank or directly with your service providers. This will not only save you time, but also avoid late fees and maintain a good credit score. Number 15. Study the Financial Independence Retire Early Fire Principles So, the Financial Independence Retire Early, or FIRE movement is a lifestyle and personal finance approach that emphasizes aggressive saving and investing to achieve financial independence at a relatively young age. Now, the core idea here is to accumulate enough assets to generate a sustainable income that covers living expenses, allowing you to retire early and pursue your passions without relying on traditional employment. Now, this typically is achieved by maintaining a high savings rate, often 50% or more of one's income, and investing in low-cost, diversified portfolios to maximize returns. 
FIRE principles focus on frugality, intentional living, and long-term financial planning. Adherents to this philosophy often cut out discretionary expenses, they optimize their tax strategies, and prioritize investments that generate passive income, such as index funds, rental properties, or dividend stocks. And there you have it, Aluxer. These are 15 ways that you can increase your financial IQ. Now, we're curious to know, where do you struggle the most with your finances? Drop your answer in the comments below. We're always curious to hear your thoughts. And who knows, we might even make a video that can help you even more specifically. And with all that being said, let's wrap up this video. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to return the favor by tipping us with a like and a share. And as always, thanks for watching, Alexa. If you'd like to learn some more, check out this video next.